what is going on YouTube? The t glorious time has finally come for me to start the JPI EDM 900 install on the Cessna 172 project. For those of you that this might be your first video, which would be kind of weird, um, my name is Bryce. I am your favorite AMPIA and Part 147 instructor, and I make a lot of different aircraft videos. Today, however, I am unboxing the JPI EDM 900 and the SICE CIES fuel cinders for this project, so stick around. So I don't usually do unboxing videos, uh, but I don't know how much content this project is actually going to lend. So yes, I am guilty of stretching it out. But let's start with this little box right here. This is going to be the CIES fuel cinders, also known as SICE. They are digital, and from what I have been told, like you can get down to within a couple ounces of fuel how accurate these things are. That doesn't make any sense. These are so accurate that you will know within a couple ounces how much fuel you have. That sounds uh, much better. So let's just try these open here. It says stop, important, please read before you continue. Installation manuals can be downloaded. Hey, I love that. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I'll read that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get these out for the video. And then I will probably wrap them up and put them back in the box. So. Wow, that's nice. Okay, let's see here. All right, so there we go. This is the digital fuel senders. Like I said, these are considerably more accurate than those old senders that came in the Cessna 172. Really, they came in a lot of aircraft, but there's the logo if you've never seen these before. So when we decided to go with the JPM or the JPI, we went ahead and decided to upgrade the uh, fuel cinders at the same time. If you're asking the question, no, this is not my aircraft. This is a customer aircraft. Um, they have just always entrusted me to do the work on it. So there is that. I'll go ahead and get this closed back up until it is such a time to install those. And now we'll cut into the big box. So this should be the EDM 900. Uh, we went with the EDM 900. It's just a little bit smaller than the 930. It's not that we didn't want the 930. It's just we thought that this might be easier to conceal, to, to hide, to uh, to install. It would take up less space in the panel. However, you want to however you want to qualify that. But let's get this first couple layers of bubble wrap. Oh, don't you love bubble wrap? All right, that looks like a giant pile of paperwork. So that's good for me. I'm obviously going to need that, but that's the pilot's guide, the flight manual supplement, all of my STC paperwork all right there. So what else do I have? All right, this should be the fuel flow for the fuel flow. It's gonna be added to this. We don't normally have fuel flow on this, but we will now. So there is the kit for that. Remote alarm, what is this here? This looks like all of the temperature sensors for the engine. I think this is gonna be the probes and whatnot. I'll go ahead and let's see here. Yeah, this is all the harnesses, so. Got your remote. You got your RPM, your tack sensor, that's gonna thread into one of the magnetos. This will be my oil temperature probe, which fun fact on this, I'll get back to this in just a second. It's my oil temperature probe. We'll have an outside air temperature probe to install somewhere. We will have carb temperature is being added. We've got our shunt, our shunt for our voltage and amperage. This just looks like uh, some clamps and whatnot for manifold pressure. And then we'll have Oil pressure, that'll be down by the sump. So those are all of our cinders. I'll go ahead and start getting these kind of put back in here. All right, so moving down, we have the unit. I'll save this for just a minute. This is going to be all of my CHTs, I think these were supposed to be plugs. I think we might have gotten the wrong 
sensors. I'll double check into this, but we got our CHT sensors. Like I said, I think these are supposed to be the gasket type, not the bayonet type. So I'll have to look into that. Um, EGT sensors, got all six of those. Down here, we've got our harness. Lots of, uh, lots of harness, gotta love having a harness. Then bubble wrap, we've got our CHT EGT harness. We've got, oh, this is for the senders. That's good, they sent me a harness for the size fuel senders, so that'll make that easy. And this is a flush mount, so I'll get all this stuff back in here. Lots of wires, which I love doing. Love doing some wires. Maybe I'll get some of my coworkers who are avionics cats to help me with this, because why not? And then, oh, hot. I'm gonna edit all that out. Be really careful with this as I saw at it. With a knife. There we go. Look at that. So, that is the brand new EDM 900 JPI. Now, we actually have a, an option we can install it like this vertically or we can install it horizontally, but I'm gonna take you off of here. I know I promised this was an, an unboxing video, which it is, but I'm gonna leave this in this bag actually, but I'm gonna take you off of here for a moment. I'm gonna show you where this is gonna end up being. All right, so here is my current engine cluster. There's not a lot. There's two fuel senders that are very inaccurate. There's an oil pressure, oil temp, amps, exhaust temp that does not work, and a tachometer. And that's really all you get. I've also got a uh, flight hobs and a maintenance hobs, but that's going to go away. We will just have a maintenance hobs. Now, this can either go here, here. I could put it over here in this hole, which I think I'm probably going to end up putting it where the amp meter goes. Um, it will go like that. I think I can even install it this way if I want. So I might, no, actually I think I'll do that. I think I'm gonna install this where the RPM is. I think I'll put it right here. That'll put it right next to all of this, plainly visible. Um, we will have to get a new piece of plastic or a new cover for this. Um, but since this already has the placards on it, I, I'm gonna have to look more into that. Okay, the last piece completely unrelated to the EDM 900, but it will be going in at the same time, and this is very, very exciting, is an oil filter adapter. Now, I'd already unboxed this previously. Let me see if I can get this out of here real quick. Okay, this guy right here essentially goes in here like this. Um, this is gonna thread into the back of the case, and it will allow us a place for a full flow spin-on oil filter, which we didn't have before. So during the EDM install, I'm also going to be doing a full flow oil filter STC on it. So there you go, everybody. That is going to do it all for this video. I realize it was really short, um, but like I said, I don't know how much content the aircraft is going to lend. So I'm going to be making the most out of these videos. Next weekend, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys me getting the cowling off, which for you guys will be uh, next weekend. But for me, it was actually three weeks ago. Um, pulling this cowling off, getting everything ready. Uh, the disassembly should go really quick. So the first video is probably just going to be tearing into the aircraft. So if that's something that intrigues you, I ask you to check back in every Sunday. Uh, subscribe so you can see those as I upload them. Don't forget to leave us a like, leave us a comment. As always, go build something and be easy.